Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. This video is about the sales in the store, the super sales perhaps for some of you and the interesting sales maybe for the rest of you. We're going to look at all these tanks that are available and I'm going to give you whatever information I have on these tanks. Maybe this will help you in deciding if there's anything that you want to buy. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. That will help me tremendously. Now, I'm going to help you. and We're going to look at these tanks. Now, this one, as you can see, is the Cold War Era 3 brand new Weasel. So this is the Weasel tank. That is the tow missile launcher. Now, it's not a light tank by classification. It's classified as a tank destroyer, which will be interesting as it pertains to operations and contracts. Because my gut reaction is that you're going to play this like a sniper in general, but use its hideous speed to escape danger. So let's take a look at this dude in the store right here. Weasel 1A1 Toe. So the thing is, briefly, if you're going to buy it, realistically, the best way to buy it is buy the base model. The reason why is because in the other mo in the other offers, you're going to do something. They're going to offer you stuff that you don't necessarily need. Now, the, there's a good case to be made for this second level offer because it does come with 20 commander boosters and 20 times three vehicle boosters, which you would not necessarily use on this vehicle, but on other vehicles. And these are a good item or a good set of items to acquire. They usually sell these together. Also seven days of premium, which is not bad if you don't have any and you want to get some. <clears throat> now the, the only negativity I would say about buying this for 12,800. So what is this more? This is 2,100 more <clears throat> than what they normally charge you for this. Let me look at this real quick. The weakness of charging you for these extra things is that you can buy those boosters separately in the store from time to time. It's not bad. And the seven days of premium is the is kind of a small problem because they charge twelve fifty in the store for that. And the the problem is, I'm going to just go and show it to you directly. I made a video about this, so I'm not going to go into it in detail, but I'm going to tell it to you here so you know. You can get three days of premium from any contract, usually in inside of a day. The exception to that is the machine. That one's a little more buried. You'd have to go through stage one, two, three, four, and at the end of stage five, you'll get three days of premium for free. Now, you, know, that, you can do that in three days or less, possibly. That's not crazy. Lawgiver is easy. You can do that in a day. Now this one, you get your three days of premium in stage seven. Kind of bizarre, but okay. I already finished that contract. Smooth man finished that contract. Now that was another stage five. Ramrod finished that contract. That's another one that was uh, stage five, as you can see right there where the three days are. So what I tell people is that you can just do contracts all right go to contract pick one let's say you haven't done any of the four contracts the legion is one is going on but let's say okay let's say you haven't done any of the five contracts you could do pick one of the easy ones the lawgiver you can do the lawgiver stage five in in one day go there then choose another contract the smooth man for example Hit that and get those. You can get the three days of premium. You can milk the system for premium for free 
all day long every day if you need three days of premium go hit a contract get three days of premium from one then go to another one you can literally go to the lawgiver get three days then go to the smooth man get three days go back to the lawgiver you can jump from contract to contract at any time and all your previous progress will disappear so lawgiver to smooth man back to lawgiver back to smooth man until you decide you have enough for a while and then go finish off a contract or whatever it is you want to do don't finish it I don't care it doesn't matter and it doesn't matter whether you, you finish it or don't finish it but you can literally get premium time for free any day you want as long as there's contracts that you haven't completed now in the I can't do those contracts anytime soon because I've already done them and I've got 140 something days I'm building up now when I bought the last time I bought premium time was Thanksgiving Black Friday I bought two months I bought one month I thought well let me I might be a little bit high on I mean low I bought a second month on discount rate I never bought any more I'm not gonna buy any more right now my my premium time goes into July whatever so we don't worry about that so going and buying this with the premium time here is not bad but it's not really great either the primed is terrible let me explain to you why it violates rule number one of gold farming you never pay gold for something that they sell in, for silver all of these advanced loader advanced zoom advanced optics which is if you have zoom you don't need optics uh oh oh why would they sell me two things when they only need one up 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 all right so that's what you don't want to do you get the vehicle booster as well and the commander uh, commander xp booster blah, 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 and the seven days of premium basically speaking if you're going to buy this and i'm thinking about doing this myself I would just buy the basic model because everything else I can take care of it. I don't need them to hold my hand. So that's the weasel. Now let me go show you another awesome tank. The Leopard 1A1. This is a very good tank. I wouldn't say it's like super awesome, but this tank does qualify as a difference maker. And as a difference maker, my definition is that under times of great stress does it have the capability to allow the player to dominate the game and it does it doesn't have super armor it has you know pretty average armor but you have the ability with its agility to avoid shots if you're good at that and that's what makes it a, a, you know basically a difference maker super tank so it's not overpowering it's just it'll you can nickel and dime guys by avoiding shots popping up shooting them connecting you know hiding again etc so this tank is very good i got this tank and i played it for most of the week and i was like wow dude this is good i got it for contract stuff contract and operations top notch if you're interested in a good medium tank for Cold War and that's uh, era 2 all right now other stuff here we go my resolution stuff finally showed up well now actually my resolutions captured KV1 showed up last week but they fixed it they resynced it whatever in resolutions I'll have another video I'll explain this to you later and it's great because it'll help I have this I already have this tank captured KV-1 very good highly rated resolutions Panther 8.8 .8. that tank is uh, 73 74 7400 I think is what it was 7400 or 7300 normal price it was 60% off because of the resolutions the Brazilian Bulldog an outstanding tier 8 midget tank outstanding the only problem with it for me 
is that I already have another version of this tank. In fact, I have like four versions. There's a there's a bunch of different versions of the Walker Bulldog premiums. And I have like four of them. So is it great? Absolutely great. Do I need it? I do not need this tank. Would I recommend it to you? Yes, I would because it's that good. Now I have the tanks that are just like this. I have the T41E1. I have the Hohenhund. I have the Aguila. I have the M41D. Those are all Walker Bulldog type uh, light tanks. Let's look at this briefly. <clears throat> Brazilian Bulldog. This is really a good tank, I'm telling you. I'm not gonna not gonna do, you know poo-poo this tank. It's really good. I just don't need it. I have a bunch of those guys and I don't need another one. But if you don't have a good tier 8 light tank, Brazilian Bulldog is good. Uh, I believe top speed on that dude is about 84. In fact, I gotta double check it. I might actually need... No, 72. So you're gonna get 86 will be the top speed on this tank. That's very good. For tier eight, that is very good. So you can get, you can jack this dude up to 86 with tracks, powertrain, and gas. And at 86, this dude is blazing. So I'm telling you, this is top notch. I just really don't need it. TS5 tank destroyer. I don't need this because I have other tanks, primarily Russians, but I have also some Germans of this kind of fixed gun design unspectacular to me but if you enjoy this kind of stuff and you don't have one hard to beat the deal for a wicked tier 8 sniper for 5,000 gold you can beat it by getting it from a card or for example in the blue cards if you want to try your luck, there's a diamond back, which is a uh, British, very similar, probably even better than this, but it's, it's pretty good. Fighting Girlfriend. I have this. This is for International Woman's Day. The story behind this tank is awesome because it says here that Maria bought her own T-34. I don't even know how you would do that. And she was fighting, you know, as a tank commander, you know, defending Russia after her husband was killed. So she's literally the embodiment of the fighting girlfriend. I have this tank, very good T-34, and you see the cosmetics of this tank right here. Well, right there, I, I have it, so it won't show you. Uh, I gotta do that, whatever. Really great bargain for less than 2,000 gold. This is the kind of bargain that you should be looking for if you need a tier five medium tank. Valkyria Chronicles. This is the Sega game. I've already covered that before. This is the Frenchie AMX 30. Not going to worry about this either. I've already covered this. Super Savings Klimov. Two star commander. What I call a silver commander. 115% earning. He's obviously Eastern European. So would look cool if you had a Polish tank that needed a commander, which I do. So I kind of need to buy him. All right, ladies in charge. I have her. I don't have her. That's uh, Last Stand Laura. And I have her. Uh, she's a German commander. I don't have either one of these. These are three stars, both of them. So if you need three star commanders and you like these girls, they're fantastic. This is the Phantom, and this one is Vasquez, jungle fighter, obviously. Fantastic three-star commanders. This one I'm going to buy, Mary the Mechanic. Now, what she is is not the one that you th might think. The one that's the most, the one that's famous from the actual World War II is Rosie the, Riv Rosie the Riveter. So this is kind of like, well, without stepping on her her toes they make the generic equivalent to Rosie the Riveter as Mary the Mechanic 
alliteration is excellent. So, I should have said alliteration is awesome. Eh, well, whatever. You can buy the commanders for the Valkyria Chronicles if you don't want to buy their tanks. Fantastic, I guess, you know, whatever floats your boat. Whenever I come back, woo, let's go back over here real quick, like... Rule number one, we never spend gold for things you can buy for silver. Now, they took away recently the ability for us to buy garage slots in silver. So I'm not too sure, you know, about this one. So it's kind of a head scratcher. I don't know exactly how that's going. So let's look and see. See, I have vacant slots, but I should have the ability to buy slots, but I don't. Someone told me that. I'm like, well, you know, I had no idea. Now, the reason I have so many vacant slots is because in cards, when you get tanks that you already own, you keep everything except that tank, and the tank will give you a gold refund for it. So I've had quite a few gold refunds, as you can see. That's where that comes from. Those are the special deals. Bundles. Hey, well, in the bundles, they actually had a, a picture of the actual Alpine Tiger, but it's not there now. I can't tell you why. It doesn't really make much difference. You can go in your own store and look and see. So, depending on what you want, Cold War tanks, the weasel is expensive. Myself, I would, I would if I get it, it's going to be because I have a... a channel here to show it off to demonstrate to people so they can see what it's like the highly recommended leopard 1a1 if you need a medium tank era 2 the resolutions i'm gonna have another video explaining resolutions for you so we don't worry about those and to check out that video will be fantastic because i have everything unlocked World War II, again, if you don't have and you're looking for a really good tier 8 light tank, you're not going to beat the Brazilian Bulldog anytime soon, except in Halloween time when they have the Halloween earn your free Halloween tank, you could do like I did last Halloween and earn the Holland Hund. But this is March, and that is exactly seven months away. So do with that information as you will fighting girlfriend is terrific and a bargain price can't go wrong so i covered this kind of stuff here hopefully to help you make some decisions give you some ideas and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like please subscribe i'll see you later i'm going to work on resolutions immediately following this one thanks again